As moderator of Mennonite Church USA, I bring you greetings and gratitude as you celebrate this evening. Greetings of joy as you mark the centennial and gratitude for the long legacy of prayer, witness, service, dedication, and wise reflection that Mennonite women have brought to the church in these decades. You might think from my title, Martha and Mennonite Women, that I intend to speak about the biblical Martha and her sister and thus go merrily on my way. But you would be mistaken. I want to tell you about another Martha, a Mennonite woman whose life illustrates part of the story we celebrate tonight. Martha Hershey Kaufman was born in Missouri, but her parents came from Lancaster, Pennsylvania and moved to Palmyra, where Martha was born in 1900. When Martha was six years old, her family moved even further west to La Junta, Colorado, where Martha's father was an administrator at the Mennonite Hospital and Sanitarium there. Martha eventually graduated from the Mennonite School of Nursing there, married, raised six children, was active in her church and community. And she worked as a nurse, sewed and knitted and crocheted for her family and for others and for the Mennonite uh, MCC relief sale in her region. And then in her early 80s, she moved to Denver to live with a daughter in a downtown apartment. This is where my life and Martha's life intersected. When I was licensed as an associate pastor at First Mennonite Church in Denver in 1983, I remember meeting Martha on one of my first Sundays. She introduced herself and she invited me to come to lunch with her someday since her apartment was just a few blocks from the church in downtown Denver. So we arranged a lunch date which became a monthly habit. I remember especially the first shared meal which was simple and delicious and seasoned with good conversation as Martha shared memories and wisdom from 83 years of living. And at the end of the meal as I was getting up to return to the office, Martha took my arm strongly and she said, I want to tell you something. When I heard that we were getting a woman pastor, I didn't know what to think. I know what I was taught. I'd never had a woman pastor, but I decided to keep an open mind and to ask you over to lunch and to get to know you. And now I want you to know that I will always be your friend and you have my support. Remembering these words after 34 years of ministry, I still find myself moved to tears. I think of Martha often and of her readiness to say, this wasn't what I was taught, but I'm willing to reach out and consider another way. Now I have to tell you, Martha didn't like to attend the women's circle meetings at her church, even though she was friends with all these women and very active with them in other ways. Her daughter reports that she would rather be at home sewing than sitting around talking and socializing. So perhaps that was her one fault. Martha died 10 years after I first met her in 1993. Between Martha and me, our lives span 117 years of Mennonite women, span the life of this centennial we celebrate tonight. For me, Martha's testimony from our first lunch and the friendship that grew from it is an inspiration for our future as Mennonite women. She still inspires me with her willingness to walk toward change and engage someone who was on a very different life path than her own. May all of us as Mennonite women be like Martha in facing the future with an open spirit and an open hand, ready to see where the Spirit of God might yet lead. Rejoice and be glad, Mennonite women, and then let us continue the journey. Amen.